Edinburgh based on his own real life story. And Jordan joins us now in the studio. Jordan, welcome. Real pleasure to meet you. Thanks for having me. Um, the, the run, the run at Edinburgh is entitled "Son of Dyke," and there will be those whose ears immediately prick up at the mention of that word because, for some, it is a loaded term. Explain the title. So the title um, is because, like you said, I'm born of two lesbian parents, um, and like Jesus, I'm a sperm donor baby. Uh, so um, I wanted, didn't want to shy away from the term, and I really appreciate that you've actually both used it, even though it probably is against some sort of Ofcom regulation. Uh, I'm allowed to use it uh, because, as my mother's friends will attest, I'm an honorary lesbian, which means that I'm allowed to poke fun at the own community, and I get, you know, half price on camping equipment and things like that. <laughs> um, so uh, I, I'm really pleased that you've uh, that you've given it a platform. Actually, that's great to use it because it has been a horrible term used against us. But in the community, we bandy it around, you know, like a uh, definite article. So tell us the, the the story behind the show. That you you're, you're one of your one of your parents passed away, and, and yes. that led to you, you know, beginning a journey to, to find the, the the sperm donor responsible for it. Well, I'm very lucky because I have three incredible parents. I mean, my mother's put the mothering and smothering, quite frankly. And um, it was only when I lost one that I started to doubt uh, that I was enough. I started to feel a bit inadequate. And those, um, those early fears that I was somehow lacking because I didn't have a father um, started to come back up again. And I applied to uh, meet him, though I always thought that he would be anonymous. But it turned out that he lifted his anonymity, so I actually had the chance to meet him eventually. I also met two of my donor siblings, who are technically called Dibblings, I believe. <laughs> and, uh, and I've met them as well, two, two, two girls, two half-sisters, which has been amazing. So what was that like? And has that given you kind of closure or what you were looking for by managing to get in contact with your biological? It's been an incredibly interesting emotional journey because it's actually shown me that I was never lacking at all. I was very lucky, like I said, because I already had everything I needed. And um, when meeting him, he's a really nice guy, uh, and you know, and I'm, and I'm and I'm really enjoying getting to know him. Will you keep? Do you think you'll keep that relationship? Yeah, definitely. No, definitely. I just um, it just doesn't answer any of those probing uh, existential questions. I now know where my nose comes from, uh, for example, but I don't know anything else. And it, all it showed me was that I've actually to be incredibly grateful for what I do have in my life. And it's an incredibly important thing, actually, that I want to say with the show, because a lot of people don't know their biological parents. And it doesn't mean that they're lacking in any way. You know, you, 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 you're, you're created by zygotes, but you're made by people. And we all have people in our lives who love us. The show's off to the, the, to the, uh, to the fringe in Edinburgh. It, it, many people will not be... The, many people will look at the, the kind of the, uh, the subject matter for mm. this and, uh, and be surprised that it might prove to be a rich seam of comedic material. <laughs> yeah, indeed, rich seamen of comedic That's material. Right. <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, no, uh, I, it, is, it is a comedy um, at the end of the day. There's tragedy involved because I did lose my mother, and that, that is explored in the show. And it's one man. And it's one man I do. It's basically just an opportunity for me to impersonate all of my mothers um, and make some cheap gags about lesbians at the end of the day. So it's really not too po-faced. But it does have some really great messages. It's really, it champions LGBT families from the perspective of somebody who's been through it, which is so important with all the stuff that's going on in Birmingham and people getting, you know, beaten up on tubes and things like that. Does your mum approve? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> we'll wait, As all we'll parents wait, kind of We'll wait for her review. We'll wait for her review. <laughs> um, well, Jordan, we wish you all the very best with it. Uh, heading to the un underbelly uh, 